Henry Louis Norwest endured many challenges throughout his life, but nothing was going to stand in the way of him answering the call to arms. Henry Norwest was born to a Cree family in 1884 in the Northwest Territories. Right from the start, Henry had a difficult childhood. An absent parent, forced relocations, and constant discrimination. His family was extremely mobile and traveled throughout Alberta searching for new hunting territories. The lived experience of tracking, stalking, and hunting would prove useful in his military career later in life. As a young man, Henry took whatever work came his way. He worked in farming, ranching, and even as a rodeo performer. In August 1914, World War I began, and by January the following year, Henry Norwest had decided to enlist. He joined up under the name Henry Louis, but only three months later was discharged for misbehavior. Henry wasn't to be deterred. Eight months later, he signed up again under a new name, determined to start fresh, and this time, it worked. Henry turned out to be an inspiration overseas. His skills learned as a hunter made him an expert marksman, and he quickly became the battalion's star sniper. His fellow soldiers described him as dutiful, talented, brave, and dedicated to his unit. Henry Norwest helped the Canadian Corps claim victory at the Battle of Vimy Ridge, and in 1917 he was awarded his first military medal for it. His award citation said he showed great bravery, skill, and initiative in sniping the enemy after the capture of Vimy Ridge. By his activity, he saved a great number of our men's lives. Henry kept up the fight, and a year later in 1918, he had racked up over 100 enemy kills, a record that, at the time, was unrivaled by the entire British Army. He was awarded a bar for his military medal and became revered by the troops. Unfortunately, no matter how talented Henry was, in war, all it takes is one unlucky moment. On August 18th, just three months before the war ended, he was hit by an enemy sniper, killing him instantly. A true hero had been lost, but not forgotten. <laughs> 